Hello everyone. So in the last video, we started talking about Docker architecture and we'll continue to do, do so in this video as well. So let's pick up from where we left and talk about union file system. So I told you that union file system enables Docker to efficiently manage the storage of image layers and it presents multiple file system as a single mount, right? Here we are specifically going to talk about overlay 2 which is the docker storage driver that implements union file system. Overlay 2 basically has few layers, a base layer. So this is the root layer of an image and is the read only layer. This is similar to the root file system of Linux you can consider, right? So this is what you download when you fetch an image from Docker Hub. Next, we have an overlay layer. So this you can consider as the working directory for a user. So when you run a container, uh, layer gives union view of the base and the diff layer, right? And last, we have the diff layer. So when you change or modify a file in the base layer, those are automatically stored in this layer. Now let's talk about copy on write. So this is a very important concept. So when you make a change to a file that is present in the base layer, what overlay FS does is it will copy that file from the diff layer and make your modification. So this is called copy on write. So this basically gives you a few benefits, right? So first is the efficient storage management. It is because of this that you can run several containers from a single image without even exhausting your disk space, right? And the next benefit is the isolation of changes to the container file system. So this lets you basically start and stop container with each container preserving preserving its content. So when you have contents, different content, if different files basically in different containers, those files are preserved when you start and stop containers. So this is because of this copy on write. Now let me show you an example how basically layers are created and destroyed on the runtime using Docker, right? So right now I'm on my system where I have a few images. Let's do Docker images. So I have one, the hello world image and one image which we downloaded Nginx image, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a container or rather before that, if you see, I'm in the directory where lab docker overlay to. So this is where all your Docker layers go. This is the directory where all your, all your uh, Docker images layer go into, right? So where lib docker and this directory basically depends on the storage driver you are using. So I'm using overlay two. That is why this directory is overlay two. All right. All right. So if I do an ls hyphen l rt over here, you can see all these are the layers of the images which I have right now, which are these two images, right? You clear the screen. Let me do a word count on this. So you can see that currently I have 15 directories in this particular directory or 15 layers as you can see right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a container docker run dit nginx so I'm using nginx image to start this container and then I'll run it so I haven't done any port mapping or anything of this sort because I'm just trying to show you something so now if I do you can see this number has gone on to 17. So two layers have increased, right? And if you do an NLS hyphen LRT, you can see these two layers have been added. So these are the basically the layers. I mean, when you run a content, this is what overlay layer, which we defined earlier is. And if I make any changes, I mean, by logging in into the container, then that would go into the diff. Uh, basically, if you if I go inside any directory, right? So those changes will go into the diff directory, right? So this is right now, I mean, it can be a little confusing uh, distinguishing between the base diff and overlaid uh, working spaces. But if you work with Docker consistently, probably you will get it with time. I don't expect you to get it in the first go, right? All right. So let me just do a Docker PS and now let's stop this container so docker stop and this container is stopped and if i do cd where lib 
docker overlay 2 ls hyphen lrt wc hyphen l so the number of layers are still the same so i have stopped the container but the layers are still there so if i do docker rm if i remove this container now let's see so you can see it has again come back to 15 so the number of layers so the layers which were created for that particular container they are destroyed once the container is removed so this is also one thing which i wanted to show you okay so now if you want to visualize this overlay mount point what we can do is so since we don't have any container running let's run that container again so docker run so i'm going to run this again do a docker ps so we have a container running if i do an ls hyphen lrt so we have two layers so if you see it basically creates two layers one with hyphen in it so hyphen in it is basically used by the overlay file system to create uh, some prerequisite files right files and directories basically so that is why this this layer is also created when you run a container the actual layer which we are concerned with is this one so let's do a cd into this and do an ls hyphen lrt all right so to visualize the overlay file system you can use the mount command mount and let's grab for anything which is overlay so you can see that where lib docker this container which is this id and the merge directory so this directory is basically acting as our union file system mount right this you can also see by simply doing a df-h so if you do a df-h you can see that this the file system type is overlay and where it is mounted it is mounted over here right so merge is basically the directory that presents you the union mount all right all right so this is it for this video guys i hope you like the video please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching